So a couple ways to use your elbows in a close quarter situation. One of them is in a grappling context. So he goes to hit you and I get him here and now my elbow becomes my pry bar. Okay, up up. And now it's great for close quarters because he is giving me his limbs, his appendages, and we're already up close. I don't have to reach out and grab him, I just have to secure and then use my elbow to trap him or to uh, lock him up. All right, next, trapping. Trapping is this idea, Wing Chun uses it, where you are locking down on one of their arms. So I'm gonna take my elbow and he's gonna be up close here, right? I, I'm gonna be blocking him down here, trying not to get here. Up here, this elbow's gonna drop down, boom, and I get him right here. Once I get him off balance, just for that split second, I'm in control and I can take back the situation. I come back. Last one, obvious, I knew you were already thinking about this, it's striking. So he's coming at me and I'm blocking him and now I'm hitting him. Boom, boom, so come back. Let's say he, uh, he goes to hit me. I'm gonna block here, what do I do? Boom, crash in right there. That opens up my next hit right here, boom. Then I'm gonna catch him here. I can go to my next hit, one, two, use that elbow again. Now I'm back to here. Already knocked that. All right, so those three, striking, grappling and trapping. Let's see that again. Let's get that it's in a quick dynamic situation. Boom, go. Boom, boom, striking. Grappling. Trapping. All right. Getting close. Use those elbows. Hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more of what's coming out daily from O Sleeper Tactical. If you have a question about fighting or martial arts, throw it down in the comment section and you might see an answer in a future video. For more of what you just finished watching, check the description for links to related content.